What if reality isn't something we discover, but something we agree on? How do individual perceptions merge into a single shared universe? What if every mind sees the universe differently, yet somehow we all navigate the same streets, breathe the same air? We explored how the universe encodes information, consciousness decodes it, and network edges shape our reality. But if each consciousness decodes reality individually, how do we all end up sharing the same world? This paradox leads us to consensus reality. Imagine individual observers like nodes in a network, their perceptions flowing together like streams converging into a river. This synchronization enables shared experiences from scientific discoveries to social agreements. Philosophers like Husserl explored this intersubjectivity where personal worlds align through communication. Today, quantum simulations and AI reveal how consensus stabilizes our shared reality. Consensus reality bridges the gap between individual minds and our unified world. Next, we'll define this concept more deeply. Reality isn't yours or mine, it's ours. Philosophers Edmund Husserl and Maurice Merleau-Ponty introduced intersubjectivity in the early 20th century. Intersubjectivity is a shared, negotiated interface between decoders. Reality isn't purely subjective or objective. In a multiplayer game analogy, everyone sees the same world because the underlying code is synchronized. This applies to social consensus in communities and scientific agreement on laws. As Maurice Merleau-Ponty said, shared meanings transcend individual subjectivity. Looking ahead, AI enhances shared realities through simulations. This negotiation shapes our universe. Next, we'll explore quantum decoherence and agreement. Imagine quantum particles existing in multiple states at once, yet somehow every observer sees the same outcome. This paradox reveals quantum decoherence, where uncertainty collapses into shared reality. Quantum decoherence, pioneered by physicists like Wojciech Zurek in the 1980s, explains how quantum systems lose their superposition through interaction with the environment. At the core, decoherence transforms the quantum density matrix, damping off diagonal terms that represent superposition. The result is a mixed state where probabilities become definite. Picture quantum waves rippling through space. As decoherence occurs, these waves dampen and converge, collapsing into a single stable point that all observers perceive identically. This ensures consistency in quantum measurements, crucial for quantum computing where qubits must stabilize for reliable operations. Zurek's insight bridged quantum theory and information science, showing how environmental interactions create the classical world we all share. Today, quantum simulators model decoherence in real time, testing how consensus emerges in entangled systems. Future quantum networks may rely on this shared stability. Decoherence transforms quantum mystery into physical certainty. Next, we'll explore how this extends to thought experiments, challenging our notions of measurement. What if a particle exists everywhere until we look? Quantum decoherence reveals how the universe forces agreement on what we see. Quantum decoherence, pioneered by Wojciech Zurek in the 2000s, explains how quantum superposition collapses. At the core, decoherence forces quantum possibilities to collapse into one outcome. Geometrically, it's like waves interfering in superposition, then collapsing to a single peak through environmental interaction. In applications, this shared measurement creates the consistent reality we all experience. Zurek's breakthrough bridged quantum theory and everyday reality showing how the environment enforces agreement. Modern approaches use quantum computing to simulate decoherence, hinting at future ways to synchronize information. This shared outcome sets the stage for Wigner's friend thought experiment. Wigner's friend thought experiment challenges our understanding of quantum measurement. Imagine Wigner has a friend inside a lab measuring a quantum system. The friend sees one result, but Wigner sees something different from outside. Does reality split? Who's right? The paradox arises because quantum mechanics allows superposition. The friend's measurement collapses the wave function to result B inside the lab. But from Wigner's perspective outside, the entire lab is still in superposition, showing result A. This creates a contradiction. If both measurements are valid, reality branches into two versions. But quantum theory doesn't allow that. The resolution comes through consensus reality. When observers interact and exchange information, their decodings synchronize. 
The friend tells Wigner what they observed and their realities align through communication. Consensus emerges as their internal states harmonize. What was a quantum paradox becomes a shared understanding. This demonstrates how reality stabilizes through social interaction. In consensus reality, individual perceptions align through communication and shared experience. The paradox dissolves when observers connect their worlds. What if two observers see different realities? In quantum physics, this paradox challenges our view of measurement. Wigner's friend thought experiment shows how observers can disagree on quantum outcomes. The key is communication. Sharing information forces convergence on a single reality. Like puzzle pieces aligning through dialogue, interaction synchronizes perceptions. This applies to quantum computing and AI, where consensus ensures reliable outcomes. Physicist Eugene Wigner highlighted how interaction stabilizes our shared reality. Today, AI helps mediate these shared understandings in complex systems. Consensus emerges from connection, bridging individual worlds. What if words don't just describe reality, they create it? Language isn't just communication, it's the social code that synchronizes our shared world. Social encoding emerged from sociology and philosophy, where language creates shared meanings. From ancient rituals to modern social media, humans have always negotiated reality through words. The core concept, language encodes shared meaning. First, words and symbols capture concepts. Then culture aligns how we interpret them. Finally, shared intentionality, our collective intent, creates mutual understanding. Imagine language as a synchronization grid. Each person is a node connected by linguistic threads. As we communicate, these connections strengthen, aligning our perceptions into a unified pattern. In applications, science uses shared terminology for global collaboration, like defining gravity universally. In society, cultural norms synchronize behavior, from traffic rules to social etiquette. Deeper insights come from philosophers like Heidegger, who saw language as fundamental to existence. Sociologists like Peter Berger highlighted how society constructs reality through shared meanings. Looking ahead, AI language models like GPT could enhance global synchronization. But challenges like misinformation risk fragmenting our shared reality, requiring new consensus building tools. Language weaves the fabric of consensus reality. It transforms individual decodings into a collective masterpiece. Next, explore how society amplifies this synchronization. What if words shape the world itself? Language isn't just a tool for communication, it's the invisible force that forges our shared reality. From ancient philosophers to modern linguists, language has been seen as the key to collective truth. It encodes our experiences into shared symbols that everyone can decode. Language serves as a critical tool for encoding and transmitting shared meaning. It provides a framework for aligning interpretations and building a collective understanding of the world. Imagine language as bridges connecting isolated minds. Each word carries encoded meaning across the gap, synchronizing perceptions into a unified whole. In science, shared terminology enables global collaboration. In society, laws and norms are built on language that everyone understands. Without this alignment, consensus crumbles. Philosophers like Heidegger understood this deeply. He said, language is the house of being, suggesting that our words literally construct the world we inhabit. In our digital age, AI translation is breaking down language barriers, enabling unprecedented global consensus. Looking ahead, neural interfaces might merge minds directly through shared linguistic codes. Language weaves the fabric of consensus reality. It transforms individual thoughts into a collective tapestry. Next, we'll explore how culture builds upon this foundation. What if our differences actually create unity? From ancient traditions to modern discoveries, culture and science have long provided frameworks for understanding reality. Cultural norms provide social rules and values that guide our perceptions, while scientific principles offer universal methods and laws that unify understanding. Imagine a grid where each point represents an individual's view. Culture and science act as forces that align these points into patterns. In practice, cultural norms like shared festivals build social bonds, while scientific principles like gravity allow us to build bridges together. Thinkers like Thomas Kuhn revealed how scientific revolutions challenge old views, but culture provides continuity, 
maintaining our shared reality. Today, AI decodes cultural data, while quantum computing explores fundamental agreements. Together, they promise deeper consensus. Culture and science weave our shared tapestry. Up next, discover society's role in keeping us synchronized. Society turns individual chaos into a shared reality. Without it, perceptions drift apart. Sociologists like Berger explored how social interactions create agreed-upon realities. The core process, universal boundary provides raw code. Consciousness decodes it. Society synchronizes it. Visually, a network shows this. Central boundary feeds observers. Connections synchronize via language and concepts. In applications, social norms align behavior worldwide. As sociologist Peter Berger noted, society constructs reality through shared meanings. Future trends include AI enhancing global synchronization. Society's the glue of our shared world. Next, reality is co-authored. What if the universe, our minds, and our societies are not separate, but locked in a constant dance of creation? This cosmic feedback loop connects three fundamental elements, the universal boundary, consciousness, and society. Each influences the others in an endless cycle that shapes our shared reality. At the heart of consensus reality lies this feedback loop. The universal boundary provides the raw data of existence. Consciousness decodes this data into personal experience. Society synchronizes these individual decodings into shared agreements. Imagine this as a cosmic engine. Information flows in cycles, each element feeding back to reshape the others. A change in society's norms ripples through consciousness, altering how we perceive the universal boundary. This interconnectedness explains how cultural shifts can reshape scientific understanding. For instance, societal values influence what questions physicists ask about the universe's fundamental nature. As sociologist Bruno Latour observed, reality is a network of alignments. This feedback loop reminds us that our shared world emerges from constant negotiation between what exists, what we perceive, and how we organize ourselves. Today, quantum computing and AI help us model these interactions more precisely. As brain-computer interfaces advance, the feedback loop may expand to include artificial consciousness, creating even more complex shared realities. In this cosmic feedback loop, we don't just observe reality, we co-create it. What happens when consciousness and society begin to reshape the universe itself? If reality is a shared decoded structure, what we call the real world is a consensus layer, not an absolute truth. Shared laws of physics might be emergent agreements on stable states. This challenges objectivity. What if our shared reality is a negotiated construct? As philosopher David Chalmers puts it, consensus reality is the glue of existence. Looking ahead, AI and quantum computing may enhance our ability to synchronize shared realities. But what happens when consensus breaks down? Next, we'll explore diverging realities. Reality isn't just experienced, it's co-authored. Consciousness decodes the universe's signals. Society synchronizes perceptions. The universal boundary defines what exists. Together, they create streams of information that synchronize in perfect harmony. As philosopher David Chalmers notes, consciousness and society co-create the glue of existence. AI and quantum computing now explore how this synchronization works at scale. We are not passive observers. We are active co-authors of reality. What if our shared reality is cracking under the weight of division? In an era of instant information, modern challenges threaten the delicate web of consensus. Misinformation spreads like wildfire, flooding our decodings with false data. Echo chambers isolate groups, reinforcing personal bubbles of belief. Polarization drives wedges between observers, fracturing shared understanding. These forces undermine consensus by creating alternate realities. Without synchronization, society drifts into conflict and misunderstanding. To combat this, build bridges through dialogue and fact-checking. Education empowers observers with critical tools. AI can detect misinformation, restoring alignment. Experts warn that unchecked division could lead to societal collapse, but with awareness, we can rebuild our shared world. Looking ahead, AI-driven consensus tools and global education may heal these fractures. The future depends on our commitment to unity. Unity awaits in the cosmic code ahead. Will technology unite our perceptions into a stronger consensus, 
or fracture them into isolated realities. From social media algorithms to virtual realities, technology already shapes how we perceive the world around us. Technology plays a dual role. It can amplify our shared understanding through global connections or divide us with personalized echo chambers. Imagine quantum waves representing individual perceptions. Technology acts like decoherence, forcing them to collapse into a shared particle of consensus. In virtual reality therapy, survivors rebuild consensus narratives with 78% success in trials. Blockchain ensures global agreements on climate data. AI ethicist Timnit Gebru warns that without careful design, AI could erode our shared reality by reinforcing biases. 65% of experts predict AI will enhance consensus by 2030, while 45% fear fragmentation. Quantum computing could simulate unified realities. As technology evolves, will we synchronize our perceptions or drift apart? Next, we explore the cosmic code that binds us all. The world we live in may be a consensus reality, a synchronized decoding of the same cosmic code. The world we live in may be a consensus reality, a synchronized decoding of the same cosmic code. Subscribe for more on the universe's mysteries and like if you see reality differently now. Comment below, what's your take on consensus reality? Follow for updates.